You wouldn't survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. It's a saying as old as time itself by this point, but what does it really mean? When anyone says you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby, what are they actually trying to say? What is the argument they are trying to win? To put it in super simple terms, most people when they're saying you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby, it's kind of their comeback for calling you like some sort of a snowflake, saying you can't handle the type of stuff we would say back in COD lobbies in Modern Warfare 2. And in a lot of ways, it really seems like they're just trying to like glorify the glory days of Call of Duty back when Modern Warfare 2 and we had forced game chat and game modes like Search and Destroy where everybody had a mic on the xbox 360 and everybody was saying something and talking shit in the pre-game and post-game lobby what does it really mean to be honest call of duty lobbies are very similar in terms of what people say now there's just less people on the mics i do see it coming back a little bit more so where people are using mics a lot more in call of duty uh in gaming in general but for the most part people are in their own little parties when they're playing video games and they're not really here in the game chat as much but the same sort of things that were said back in Modern Warfare 2 are still said now. You're just not hearing it as frequently. It really feels like if someone says you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby, it seems like they're trying to excuse the blatant racism and uh, downright idiotic things some people would say. I I'm no stranger myself to talking shit on Xbox, specifically in COD, but saying that you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby because of the things we said just feels really weird. Like... Everyone was like 12 back in Modern Warfare 2, and people were throwing racial slurs and, and derogatory terms left and right, and that was just your way of trying to get under the enemy team's skin, just saying, hey, you're trash, you are this word, you are this thing. It's like, like that is what they mean when they say you wouldn't survive one of these lobbies. It means all this trash talking and all, and all these things that we said back then, just you couldn't handle it nowadays, and I don't think that's necessarily true. I think most people can handle the things that are said in the Modern Warfare 2 lobby and gaming lobbies in general. It just feels really weird. It feels like they're trying to excuse like the racism aspect of it. I feel like most of the people that have said the N-word in Modern Warfare 2 lobbies are probably really young white kids. Like, just because you're sitting in your mom's play basement with Mountain Dew and Doritos and you're spewing Edwards while playing MW2, getting seven kills, getting the Harrier Strike to the Chopper Gunner to the coveted tactical nuke, you wouldn't survive him on a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. <laughs> Look, I get it. I'm a gamer myself. I, I'm no stranger to trash talking, but really, does the racism mean that we are more soft now because people don't say it as much anymore? Like, just because we're not going around spewing the N-word and, and saying super racist and derogatory things in Call of Duty lobbies doesn't mean the trash talk isn't still there. I, I don't really understand the concept of you wouldn't survive an mw2 lobby it's like i understand it in theory but like in practice you're basically saying hey you couldn't survive if everyone is spewing racial slurs at you calling you the n-word when they're white and you're white and everyone in the lobby's white for the most part all these really out-of-pocket things that get said and trust me in the xbox party a lot of out-of-pocket things get said but is it really an excuse for any sort of racism that goes on in cod lobbies i seriously don't know the fact that people still say you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby is just so strange to me, because it's like, I, of course, I had fun playing COD back then, I still have fun playing COD now. The trash talk is still there, but even if it's not as bad or offensive as it was in Modern Warfare 2, does that really mean you wouldn't survive this sort of lobby? Overall, I find it very weird when people say you wouldn't survive an MW2 lobby because they feel like they're trying to make a point, but in reality, they're not making much of a point themselves. They're kind of just saying, hey, you'd be offended if we were spewing racial slurs left and right. Like, come on, man, be a little bit better. I think we've all grown and matured a little bit, and a lot of the people you grew up playing COD with are different people now than they were 10 years ago in Modern Warfare 2. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think we can survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby nowadays? Look, the trash talk is still there, it's just not as offensive as it used to be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!